Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have been reading all of your comments. Some of you have had really interesting and funny names for the um, train stations, uh, but we'll get to that shortly. Now this thing, I have decided we need to be making some electric furnaces here, which, um, why? Why? Now this is very interesting. For some reason, we are supposed to be getting some stone bricks, and those are coming from... Ah, this is why. This is the mistake here. I put this uh, splitter on the wrong line. That would make the difference. There we go. Okay. I think when I copied these over, I probably did not... Uh, use these things to best advantage. Okay, so let's take that out and put in the proper things here. You got the wrong items. Okay, I now have way too much stuff in my inventory. Oh my goodness, so many blueprints. I have to say that doing the blueprints this way, it's really handy across games. But it just, like, it's murder on your inventory. I just find myself with so much junk in my inventory constantly. Let's put these away, too. Right. Uh, this would be that piece of the station. And let me make sure I have this in my blueprint book. There we are. Get rid of this, then. And hazard concrete. Still or stone blocks. Get all, rid of all that stuff. Bots, go away. Now, what do you need? You need stone bricks. Why do we not have stone bricks here? I don't know. Oh, because there's still steel on the end of this. That's why. Okay. All right. Now that's much better. Okay. So this is going to start making us some nice, happy um, furnaces, which we'll put in our... Um, chest here. This gun is, is going to be for beacons. We don't have any at the moment yet, unfortunately. So what are you getting? This is just a temporary thing there. Okay. Um, these inserters are just like, just really interested in putting stuff in, <laughs> but we shouldn't do that yet. Right. Uh, so let me see what we've got in the research. Um, neck of the woods. I think I would really like to go for, let's see, there's worker, robot, cargo size, military, robot speed, but they all demand those wonderful yellows, which is what we're missing for the Coverex process, I think. I really actually want to go and look at those things. Laser turret shooting speed sounds really good. I think we should get some of that. What are we missing? Oh, we're actually missing purples. Okay. Let's find out what's going on with purple science. Figure out what's going on there. Where's purple science made? There it is. Whoops. Keep getting caught on those things. So, hey, purple science. Something you're missing. What? Electric furnaces, which is very ironic, considering we just set some up in the other area. Okay, looks like we're missing red chips. So, and red chips is pr probably because of why. Green circuits, yep. That would be why. Yeah, there's not even getting it even close to down the line. Okay, so let's go and get some green chips made. I'm thinking that we may need to just start an outpost for green chips because right now we don't have enough space to really expand this anymore over here and it's looking kind of pitiful to be honest it really is look at this we are actually getting Ooh, whoa 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 how did this happen whoa that's funky okay that's better um we're getting some iron but clearly not enough so maybe the solution is just to expand iron I'm feeling that that may be what we need to do. Go back and revisit our uh, iron station, which I, you guys have provided many interesting names for, which I am delighted with. <laughs> They're so cool. 
Um, oh, the other thing is I want to change this to so that it's unloading on both sides. So let's uh, grab these. Um, we need the whole three tiles worth of stuff here. Put them this way, clonk it down. Yay, woohoo! And hopefully the base will help us, base robots will assist in getting this sort of things built. Uh, where is the network? I just want to make sure the network is connected, and yes, it does appear to be so, which is nice. I feel like I should be building some more robo part ports along this line of uh, travel here where I'd like to come down from the train. Okay, so these guys are, see, we've got our laser turret shooting speed. I wanted to actually get beacons. I got tempted. <laughs> All right, beacons are going to get made very shortly. So how are we doing here? We've got all the inserters on iron. So it looks like we just need more iron production because obviously we're we're still unloading and it's taking a while, but there's no iron train uh, has come back yet, which ain't great. Okay, I'm, I want to set up the beacons in the mall first because we're going to need quite a lot of those eventually. Okay. Laser turret damage. That sounds very tasty. Let's have some of that. Here we have beacons. We'll live here. Okay, and we're going to transfer copper coil. Are you... Oh, there's a naughty inserter choosing the wrong product. All right, so what else have we got? We just need... Yeah, we need... A wow, lots of red circuits for these. They're so expensive. 20 advanced circuits per beacon. Wow. That's just beyond... Um, that's not great. <laughs> that's really not great. Okay, let's get some furnaces. Moving onward. Um, let's see, what do we want to do over here? The thing is, is that... Wow, what? Okay, so this looks like it may be actually a problem of throughput more than anything else. Maybe I just need to convert this whole thing into the blue version which I can definitely do that very, very easily uh, because these, this should be filling like eight blue or eight um, yellow belts in the factory or, or four red ones. It's definitely filling these, but yeah. Um, combat robot damage, things and stuff. Personal laser defense. I want to try this out. People say that this has gotten a lot better. So I'm kind of curious if that's uh, if that's true or not. Could be a nice little automatic sort of defense. Yeah, these guys are operating really, really just fine. Um, the coal is plentiful here. So I'm thinking, yeah, and we're not even we're not even coming close to getting the the capacity. We're just we're literally waiting on these belts to fill. So I think we're just going to have to uh, organize this into being the blue version. And for that, I'm going to need a ton of belts and splitters and things. Let's make this down to like 100, I think. And get rid of some of this stuff. Come on, game. Why can't I shift click you? I want you to be shift clickable, please. Okay, let's get rid of this. All the yellow belts. We don't really need much of those. Let's get like, I don't know, 400 of these. And let's see if we can get more of these. I think I need like 160 of them or something like that. Let's check the uh, blueprint for this. It's not that one. Here it is. Not that one. It, it was here earlier. Where did it go? Um... Well, uh, yeah, I can't do much without it. That's so weird. I just put it in this folder and now it's gone. Um, I'm going to have to go and import it again, looks like it. Well, I will um, just do that. We'll find it out. This is very strange because I actually loaded the game and I imported the thing and it saved it 
from my inventory, but then it sort of deleted the whole thing here. So I don't know what's going on, but we're going to import the string um, right now. Okay, let's see. There we go, right there. Ah, there we go. Yep, and it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't import with the name. Although, okay, let's try that again. Come on, game, you can do this. It's not that hard. Uh, 16 to 16 balancer. Oh boy. It's one of those kind of days. Okay, um, good. So I was going to put this in this folder. Are you happy with this game? It was funny, funny because they were actually there and I, I don't know why that it didn't work, but it's working now, which is nice. So we're going to go with that. Let's go with uranium M. Oh, we can't because of our purple meow. The purple, the meowy purpleness ain't here. Let's get some of these speed modules and productivity modules going. So what we really need is red circuits. What we really need for this is iron and copper. Why are we short on copper here? But that's only on like this lane here. I feel like we definitely need to make green circuits elsewhere because this sort of splitting off the bus thing is not great. It really isn't great. Let's see if we can improve this a bit by just adding blue belts, possibly. Let's see, three. Okay. smelt some things. That one needs purple. Come on, Coverex. We need this process. We need it. We need all the purples you can give us. Okay, so that helped that a little bit. Helped it out, but I think the problem is we just don't have enough of this processing at all. What I could do is I could copy paste these arrays further and we can cover up this uranium for now uh, just because we're not using it for one and we're going to move it in the second place. So I think that's a wise idea to just take it around, copy it over like this and that will boost our greens by one third or actually by, by half. Boost it by half, and it will be one third of our whole process. Here. Oh my, there's some interesting bits on this belt. Let's just get those sorted out. It's this one there. Got messed up. I'll do this area too, just in case we have similar weirdnesses. Aha, and I've run out of belt. And now we're running out of materials. Yep. It's like it took the backlog and now we just don't have enough to feed it at all. Oh, not great. Yeah, basically these, these things need their own dedicated iron lines and stuff like this without having to try to share it with the rest of the bus. Okay. Well, where shall we go making green circuits? Um... Oh, and the other thing is I wanted to do is call these things differently. You guys had some really, um, whoopsie. It, don't, no, don't, no, 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 no. Oh, every time I press alt tab to get out, <laughs> it breaks on the pollution overlay. Okay. I just wanted to get my, my tab over so that I could see my name list that you guys suggested. Get out of here. Okay. Um, there were some really interesting things. We had the Big Biter Iron Emporium from Cassandra and 
Um, Winook Vader had more iron store, which was cute. And Axel <laughs> suggested hashtag don't run away from robots and hashtag robot rights. But I am not in the political movement in here, so I won't choose those. Um, but I, my favorite one was from Ecliptix. Thank you very much for Fantastic Ferris Fountain, which I found very amusing indeed. So let's see if we can rename this over here. Um, right. Let's click this iron to do, do. This is the, uh, the, we're going to call this FFF. And this is going to be or unloading. Okay. Can I copy this to that right now? Like, oh, I can. That's nice. Uh, and this is going to be or, uh, iron pickup. Okay, and we'll put this also, ah, where the train stop doesn't exist yet, but let's go back to our map uh, and see about, aha, let's take this off, delete this, and we'll put the name where we can see it, maybe like right here, so it'll be in this line, called this Fantastic Ferris Fountain which is, which is a cool way of calling it. Love that. Um, for, for those who are young or do not know, Ferrum is the name for iron. So it's a very nice name. Fantastic Ferris Fountain. Awesome. And uh, we need a name for copper too. So we'll get to that hopefully. You guys can think up some awesome names for that as well. Okay. Um, now to shop for a place to to build green circuits. Um, you know, I'm tempted to actually put it around here. There's not much going on up there at the moment. And, uh, that seems like an okay place. The steel station isn't very, very busy. So I can see, uh, an area where we just have several train stations and then we're going to have some kind of a, um, making area for um for green circuits maybe beaconable in the future yeah because right now look at this we have tons of copper but just not enough iron i know it'll probably help if i like oh gosh and yeah i don't have any <laughs> i have no blue belts no sadness are these guys getting built at all well, all of that iron is going somewhere. I mean, all of the belts must, they must be getting loaded into the trains. Let's go check that out. Okay. Are they going into our supply trains? Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of belts in here. Um, we have also a lot of underground, so I think we might be able to do that. So we were looking at the balancer. It has, oh, it only has 32 splitters. Wow. I thought it had a lot more than that. I thought it had 150 like the undergrounds, but that's actually really good news because that means we can go over there and um, basically sort out this, um, this splitter over here. That's really cool. All right, so let's go over there. Let's go take our train. Oh, why are you? You are sadly without electricity, you poor thing. Uh, put this into manual mode. And go along. Slightly dangerous, but we're trying. Okay, so this is going to be to the left. There we go. Okay. I think I'm just going to park where the supply train goes. I think we'll just go right there, like here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we needed stuff, apparently. Oh, do we not have... Oh, I didn't signal this properly? Whoa. That's not great, is it? Let's get these guys in here. Hey, bots, how you doing? <clears throat> right. Okay, cool. So that means our these trains can go ahead and pull in where they need to go. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this offline so you guys don't have to watch them replacing all this stuff. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. We're just about out of time for this episode. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.